it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here, back again with another video. And actually, I'm going to wait with that. So before I start this video, I just want to tell you guys this. Uh, I'm making some changes to the channel. Now, rather than uploading uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central and Saturdays at noon, I'm going to start uploading daily. So, my schedule now will be Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. A little later, just because now I'll have more work to do to try and, you know, keep going. Um, I might also add another map in and some other stuff. But, um, anyway, Monday through Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Now, um, I will be doing different series and stuff, adding different things in, and we'll see those as we go. Also, rather than 30-minute videos, I'm going to start doing 45-minute videos just because you can get a little bit more done. Now, we're still hard at the corn harvest. We're still on the same uh, field, field number, where are we? field number five. Uh, we are just about done with this. We have gotten one bin full so far, and our bin is current, our current bin is currently 40.8% full. And we will be heading to the farmyard here in just a moment with another full truckload. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot has changed. <clears throat> so there is some changes in the farmyard uh, that I will show you once we get there. But uh, yeah, this field, it started off very, very well. Um, it's still doing pretty good. It's not as good as it was when we first started. Uh, field 7 should be really, really good because that's another one that I had spread slurry on. Um, 6 and 8, I don't know how they're going to turn out. We'll just have to see, I guess. See what happens. So we will get filled up here and head on into the farm. And I'll show you guys the changes in the farm. Alright, and we are off. So yeah, I was sitting there thinking yesterday, um, you know, as you can tell, obviously I did get my game fixed. Uh, I had downloaded a new map, and it did not like my game. Or it did not like something in my game, uh, whether it was another mod or what. Which really sucks because it was a great looking map and I really, really wanted to play, with, play on it. But whenever I'd try and load one of my other maps or try and buy a planter really anything it would just give me the not enough memory error uh, so I deleted the map and we will not be playing on it now um, I have one maybe two more maps that I want to add in uh, Ohio Family Farms and then possibly a new one from FS-UK uh, Midtown USA I think is what it is called I haven't checked it out yet, I just downloaded it a little while ago, but uh, judging from what it looks like in Giants Editor and the screenshots of it on um, the website, it looks like it's a very, very nice map. Uh, we need to get this guy going. Uh, so I'm going to check that out and we might add that into the series as well, uh, not for sure yet but uh, we'll definitely take a look at that I'm also going to try and do more videos on my map I'm going to try and get back into working on that a uh, lot more again uh, I want to try and get that finished up so that way I can have that to play on and um, yeah so 
let's go ahead and uh, get on loading here. So yeah, this truck definitely handles a lot better in the corn. The corn uh, is definitely a lot lighter on this truck. So we're not pulling as much weight. Uh, so it drives a lot better, but we still are going to trade this truck in uh, after harvest is over. And if we go around the corner here, uh, we have some equipment lined up here. We have the other Peterbilt 579, uh, the nurse trailer, and then all three of our 9620Rs. The reason all these are sitting here is because this is stuff that we're going to get rid of after harvest season is over. Uh, and once we're done selling grain. Um, or actually we may sell it now in this episode. The reason for that is we're going to be buying different stuff. We're going to buy a different uh, tender trailer, different truck, different cultivator tractors, all that stuff. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to get a screenshot of... of uh, this stuff here that we're going to be selling. And there we go. Oops. All right, so we're gonna take this truck and we're going to head um, Actually, first we need to move the truck here. So we'll get this unloading, and then we need to tab over to the combine and get that unloading as well. Shoot, wrong one. Um, really? You couldn't be more stupid. Now I have to drive over crop again. I hate when Courseplay does that. I will be glad to buy a different grain cart tractor, one that is not articulated, one that will drive a whole lot nicer than this hunk of junk. Um, very nice tractor, but terrible for Courseplay on, terrible for on a grain cart on Courseplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the truck up here, and then we're just going to get the, whoa, get the uh, tractors on follow me and just take it all at once. And I don't want to sit and listen to the startup of it, so we're just going to get, uh, whoa, 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 that's not who you're following. Why it's trying to follow that, no idea. This one's set up as well. And finally, this one. Alright, and let's get on the road and go get rid of this stuff. Yeah, I've been starting to rethink doing beef because they are so cheap on this map and that really sucks. So I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure this map has dairy on it. So if it does, we will just do dairy instead. Uh, and if not, then I guess we'll just sell all of our straw bales and continue with just farming. Uh, so I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure that there are, uh, dairy cattle on this map. I'm pretty sure that it's the farm, uh, over there, uh, by fields 15 and 16. Oh, great. And our grain cart is full. All right. 
Uh, you'll have to just hang on a second. Uh oh, we lost the tractor. Ah, uh, we're too far ahead. Should have guessed that. And of course, can't detect it, so. Well, that sucks. Hopefully we can get this corn finished up soon. Um, that way we can work on selling and start buying equipment. Uh, that way we can start doing other things, get different equipment, that kind of thing. I need to plug my phone in before it dies on me. Alright, let's get him following the truck again here. And we'll drive slower this time, instead of flat out. straw bales still sitting there still got to get uh, rid of those yeah I'm getting way too far ahead wait oh, where's this guy eh, press one too many times all right so they are catching up to us now both our combine and our green card are full, but uh, we'll just have to hang on one second. Okay. So we'll get those guys to stop. And we're going to sell the trailer, hopefully. Yes. Yeah. Now let's start selling these guys. Hopefully this will maybe put us either back in the green or else very close to it. Oh yeah, definitely, we are going to have some money. Ooh, that was a bad idea. To sell that guy without taking him off follow me mod. Ooh. That was a terrible idea. Crap. Okay, and we are going to have to... Um... Pause this for a second, and I need to restart. Just great. Be back in a second when I'm. Alrighty, and we are back. <clears throat> All right, so we got another beast to sell here. There we go. We got some money in the bank now. We gotta sell this guy. And we will be just about to half a million dollars. We are half a million dollars. Alright. Cool. That's awesome. So that means that we are that much closer to being able to buy um, all of the farming equipment that we will need for the upcoming seasons and for cattle. I mean, if we can get uh, 200 and some thousand off of just those tractors, uh, let's see, we can get more than, you know, 
I'm just going to name everything if we sell it in the store, but everything will be sold directly to get the most uh, money that we can out of it. So we'll get 38,000, 52, 50, um, 31, 5, 31, 50, 28, uh, that we don't own, 155,000, 42, 9, 50, 220, yeah, we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make some pretty good bank, uh, just from selling our equipment. Uh, which is good because the extra money will be very much needed uh, because we will have to um, afford to be able to buy the anhydrous, the chemical, the fertilizer, all of that stuff. Uh, and then also you know, paying for other things uh, like the equipment upkeep and repairs and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so we should be sitting pretty well after harvest. Uh, that's my hope anyways. We got three fields left of the 2016 harvest season. Um, well, round one anyways. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah. See, I might try and do some work to the beef um, and see if I can get a trigger added so that we can buy the beef directly and then also like try and figure out how to get it so that they're worth more. I might try and do that. I don't know. That or else um, we'll just uh, do dairy cattle if this map is equipped equipped with dairy cattle uh, I'm not positive that it is or not uh, so our corn bin is 76% full now that is just about filled up and this is kind of weird you can see like right through that hmm. it's kind of weird but kind of cool I guess alright so the combine is on his last pass so we will get prepared to take a screenshot uh, once the grain cart uh, gets back up here and can start running. And then we will be getting set up uh, on the next field. All we got to do is load up the course for the combine and get going. Uh, we're going to be using the same grain cart course for these two fields as well as with uh, 7 and 8. So it's nice uh, having... You know, you, these two fields, you know, two fields right by each other. You can uh, manage the two fields on one grain cart course normally, uh, unless there is a different, is there, unless there is a reason why you can't. Um, but you never know, I guess. See, if we look at uh, some of the stuff that we're going to buy, um, we're going to buy some new tractors. Uh, we're going to buy this Kloss Zarion 4500, um, maybe a couple of those or something. And then I was planning on buying, like, uh, planning the Zarion, buying the Zarion for the air seeder, and then a couple 9420s for the... Um, for the cultivators, a bunch of stuff like that. And you know, we got some stuff in here. I haven't decided if I want to buy the CSZ equipment pack, uh, bale fork, or if I want to buy this. Uh, I did edit this. This is off American Eagles modding as well as the case version. Uh, but I edited these so that I removed all the collisions on the grapple, and then I added a locking script to it. So that way, when you can come up to the bale, lock it put the forks in it and then it's more realistic because you can see your forks sticking into it um, you know I'd, it's realistic but it's not in, in the same time but you know uh, and then you know, probably buy 
like a 351 or T680, we got the T800, T800 high hood, uh, the other high hood, we got the Volvo, bunch of different stuff that uh, I want to look into buying. I need to sit down and make a list and decide what all I'm going to buy. Ah, there he comes. Uh, so that way I can figure out uh, how much it's going to cost and then I have a list so that, you know, I'll just sit and decide now. Okay, I need this and this and this and this, the blah, 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 blah. And then I can sit, write it all down, and then um, when I go to buy it, I know how much money I need to have to buy all these things and how much money or how much how, what things i'm buying i should say not how much what things i'm buying so we're gonna go ahead and run up here and boom there we go Yeah, I am running a little bit less frames right now uh, because I did turn my graphic settings back up to high. Uh, I was playing on a multiplayer server uh, of a friend of mine's, which I, if I get the okay from him, I'm going to do video on that. Uh, I haven't asked him yet, so I'm going to ask him uh, here today because uh, I'm going to plan to uh, finish recording this video. And then once I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to get the video edited and get it encoding and then get it ready to upload. And then while that happens, I need to go on to Northwest Ohio uh, and do some more planting to get a little bit further away from where we ended the last video. And uh, then uh, might play on his server some. Uh, it's rainy day, so can't uh, go out and continue working on my bike project or any other project that I have going on outside. So, good day to just kind of sit here and do this for a while. I uh, might also look into doing some work on my map. I'm probably going to do a lot of recording ahead of time, just because then I'm not as rushed to do the recordings and stuff and I'm not you know trying to sit there oh I gotta get all this done so that way I can do this video and whatnot um, you know it'd be a whole lot uh, easier on me uh, to get a bunch of recordings made ahead of time you know so I'm gonna try uh, you know for now oh, I don't know how I want to do this I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until Monday to start the new schedule. So, you know, well, the full-time schedule. Uh, I'm going to start the times right now. So this video, you know, it's, it's quarter to four right now, which is when my video would usually go up at four. Uh, but I'm going to put this up at six uh, just because obviously it's not going up at four o'clock. Uh, it's going to take way more than 15 minutes to edit and upload. Uh, the video so uh, this will be going up at 6 and then tomorrow's video will go up at 4 and then on Monday we'll start uh, the new schedule of you know the video weekly so that way that gives me a few days where I can get ahead on my recording and get um, you know get a bunch of stuff recorded and edited and get it uploaded and scheduled for the times that it should go up. Uh, that way I can get a head start and then jump into it from there. Uh, so for the combine to get a little closer and then we'll grab a screenshot here starting on this next field and right about there <laughs> looks good to me right 
so we're gonna hop uh, back into this guy here. It's the reason I hate articulated tractors on course play on a grain cart, uh, especially on a grain cart. Uh, articulated tractors don't run as nicely on course play. They still run okay, but uh, they're definitely not as nice. Let's see how much time we got left. 20 minutes. All right. So, um, I need to do another quick pause. I need to run and use uh, the bathroom quick. So I'm just going to uh, shut the webcam off. Actually, I'm going to keep this rolling. I'm going to shut the webcam off and mute my mic and I'll just go back in game and just uh, let this combine sit and ride. I will be right back. Alright, and I'm back, and it looks like I got back uh, just in time. The combine's almost full again. Here is... You're supposed to be on your way. Come on. Quest. Always love when Chris Play does that as well. And the fact that it drives over the crops. That's the most annoying part. So 
let's look at what our combine is showing here 200.8 hectares so far combined uh, which sounds just about right uh, if I look here on my phone I have the uh, document oh, you know. I have the document on my phone uh, with all the numbers for the dad's farm save game uh, like the total amount of hectares on this map total amount of acres that kind of thing need to get the calculator on So overall we have 251.31 hectares. So we have about 50.4 or so hectares left combine. Um, and that converts over to To 621 acres, uh, an even 621 as well. Uh, it's 0. .00000 whatever. So, uh, stupid phone cord. Uh, and then, actually, let's do that right now. We're going to rent a plow. and a tractor and we are going to plow up the spots for the irrigation pivots uh, because I do not plan on using those at all so we're going to use the 4430 4440v3 and I didn't want to buy that crap well we'll just sell that in the store did not mean to buy that, I just wanted to rent it for a couple hours. Pretty cheap to rent, so that's a good thing. Alright, so we need our weights and our duels. We'll go ahead and hop on in. So yeah, this is the uh, 4440 from American Eagles modding, uh, or no, from uh, 9560R modding. Only this one is the latest version. Uh, this is not public yet. I'm not 100% positive that it will be. I think it will, but. Uh, like I said, I am not positive on that. So we need to set this to allow create fields. And we're going to go ahead and plow up these uh, irrigation spots. We need to pay attention to our truck too. Because it's going to fill the front trailer here. Hmm, I probably should have put that thing in a group. There we go. Alright. So yeah, we will plow up these uh, little spots here. Just to get rid of them. And we'll have that much more field. Actual field space, so... these things up. I'm definitely not a fan of the uh, plowed 
plow texture on this map. Uh, that's not one of my more favorite textures. Uh, I've played other maps that have had it as well, and just uh, does not appeal to me. But that's just me. And the creator of this map liked it, so he put them in. Uh, definitely going to be a lot different than it's definitely a lot different than the one that I'm going to be using on my map. Uh, I'm going to be using some neat soil textures as well as also going to try and do some custom sky textures uh, by taking a picture of the sky in the area at uh, where the farm the real farm is uh, actually going to be going there probably this week or this coming week I mean uh, because my uncle is now the one running the well, my papa's half of the farm, uh, because my papa decided to retire. He had had enough. Um, he's getting up there in age a little bit, and he's had, uh, he's enjoyed farming, but he said he's ready to be done and ready to sit back, relax, and do nothing but fish. And that's, he's told me that many times. He loves to fish, and, uh, he has a nice cabin right by the river. And they have a nice boat, so they go out there. Him and my Nana go out there every weekend. And he goes out there a little more. Uh, my Nana works, so she only goes down there on the weekends. But he's down there fishing almost all the time. And, uh, and he tries to go out as much as he can. Uh, he did get injured. Uh, what was it? This year? Yeah, this spring. Uh, he was, his plan was to retire last year, but, uh, his brother convinced him to go one more year, and this spring, uh, my papa fell off of an anhydrous tank and had a herniated disc, uh, so he had to have surgery on it, and he's still working on recovering, um, he definitely doesn't, uh, slow down any, uh, he's still trying to be his normal self, and you know, still uh, do as much work as he wants, and uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, turn out well for him, but he likes doing what he does, so, um, but yeah, my uncle is farming my papa's half of the land, and he called me, or he actually told my mom that uh, cause there was a time where they were together, and I was gone, uh, it was while I was out in Idaho, he said uh, he had some work that uh, he wanted to know if I wanted to help him with. And uh, said just kind of some odd jobs around the farmyard, some cleanup stuff, and help him with uh, different things and whatnot. So, so I uh, talked to him on Monday about that, and he said he was, uh, wasn't going to have anything to do this week. And he said he'd be leaving out of state. Uh, for the weekend, but he said probably next week uh, he'd be having some stuff for me to do. So while I'm out there, going to try and get some uh, sky pictures and try and get uh, a neat custom sky texture for the map. I think that would really, really make it cool, uh, especially because of the fact that you know, the sky that we have here is really, clue really clear and really nice. It's definitely a lot different than anywhere else um, but yeah it's it'll definitely also be even nicer be, to have custom textures on there because it'll be even it'll be that much more realistic to the real area um, people have talked to me about you know said you know I'm not trying to tell you what to do but you know I think it'd be kind of cool if you added like a feedlot or something like that or you know animals I have thought about that but I want to try and stay as realistic to it as I possibly can uh, but I did have a thought of making one of the farms into a feedlot and scripting in beef just beef not pigs too uh, well you'd have to put them both in there I guess but scripting in beef and pigs just for a little something else to do um, you know, it's not completely staying realistic to the real farm, but, you know, 
I think after a while it'd get kind of tiring to just do the same thing. I think it'd be kind of neat to add in doing some, you know, being able to do some animals. And um, so then I'd uh, try and add alfalfa to the map as well. And add uh, other features to it and whatnot. And just kind of add, add different things to it. I'm not fully decided on the feedlot. Uh, I just kind of... It was an idea that crossed my mind. And Come on, you idiot. Drive straight. Uh, but, you know. Plus, I'm going to be making some... I plan to make some haying equipment here in the near future. Uh, some of the stuff that we use uh, at the farm. You know, like the Rouse 18-foot uh, double mower... The V rake that we've got, the side delivery rake that we've got, uh, our nine wheel, um, uh, some of the balers we have, and you know the hay hiker we have, and that kind of stuff. So then I'd you know have a place where I can go and use that as well. Um, but you know, like I said, I'm not a hundred percent that I'm going to do that or not. Um, just a thought that uh, crossed my mind that might take into consideration and do, but uh, like I said, nothing's for sure yet. I think we're just going to kind of go in a circle here and just plow it up. Make this spot uh, extra fertile, I guess. All right, and we'll go do the one in the cornfield that we're done with, and then uh, and we'll wait until we're done combining the field that we're currently on. Yeah, this Glencoe is definitely a nice little uh, chisel. And both of them are really nice. Very well done. Never actually seen one of these before in real life. So it's kind of neat to see a different disc, different chisel, I mean. Alright. Drop it down and let's plow. So this tractor has definitely come a long ways from version one. Um, the guy that's doing it has definitely, he's learned a lot. Uh, I think he's figured out different things and that kind of stuff and he's definitely uh, kept working at this tractor and other tractors as well alright so I think what we'll do is we'll just leave this guy sit right there let's shut him off and let him be I'm gonna run over to the grain cart here and we're gonna empty the combine well We'll just go to the combine, I guess. And of course, it's acting stupid again. Right, so then once uh, the combine's done emptying, then we'll, the green cart will be full enough, will be full, and then it will go fill up the truck and then head on back to the farm again for another load. Now this field's definitely not yielding quite as well as uh, the other field did. It's m yielding more like the uh, western portion, the western three quarters of field five did. Uh, I think field seven though will make up for our poor corn uh, on the rest of these fields. But that field did have slurry on it and uh, it did get plowed as well 
So that helps a lot. Well, where are you going? What on earth? This is another reason why I'd much rather uh, do things on my own, but can't always jump, jump, yeah, juggle everything at once. Uh, it'd definitely be near impossible to combine, uh, run, grain cart, and um, truck, and all that. So that is the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, the revised uh, video schedule is down below in the description. Uh, I have revised the description a little bit, so be sure to go check out down the, in the description for the video schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and some other cool YouTube channels that we're taking a look at. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.